I'm Mary. Welcome to our first summer reading program craft uh, for teens and adults. Today we'll be making uh, book safes. It's just, you've probably seen it before, it's just a cute little hidden compartment hidden away in a book that you just stick on your shelf. No one else knows it's a safe other than you. This craft takes about one hour, uh, including about 24 hours dry time. What you need for that is just a book so pick out any book you like you're going to want to probably go with something damaged or something that you don't want anymore something you may have been thinking of donating and now you can give it a second life by turning it into a book safe other ideas if you found a cute book at a thrift store or a yard sale and it's a book you just got because you thought it was cute you don't ever think you're going to read it you could turn it into a little piece of art by making it into a book safe. Other things you will need, any white glue or Mod Podge if you have it, but really any school glue, Elmer's glue, white glue will work. Um, you will also need a sharp knife or box cutter. I used a box cutter because it felt more ergonomic and comfortable in my hand. You will want to be very careful while using this knife. Practice good knife skills, cut away from your body, cut away from your fingers. Make sure your fingers are always out of the way. Just be very, very careful while you're doing this craft. Um, you may want a metal ruler or other straight edge. A couple of clips to hold your pages down can be really handy. Then just any paintbrush, sponge brush. You could even use an old toothbrush if you have one lying around. You will also need wax paper. Hopefully you have one book somewhere around your house that you don't mind parting with or carving into. Or if you don't, I hope you just stick around and craft with us for a little bit. Um, one other note about what book you choose, I would definitely suggest using a hardcover book because you don't want to accidentally cut through the book and into whatever surface you're working on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip ahead a bit, find a place where the pages just kind of naturally fall open. And this is where I'm going to do my safe. You want to make sure that the side you're going to cut into, the side you glue, uh, stays as well aligned as it can. So it's going to drift as you cut it. That's okay. It's not going to be perfect. You don't have to worry about that. Um, this is where our binder clips are going to come in. So just so we don't have to worry about this flopping around on us and getting in our way. So I just want those pages to stay down. I'm just going to clip them in place. All right, and that'll be that. Okay, so then you're basically just going to start carving into your book. And this is where, just so you can see how you would use it. Um, this book is also a little small, so I have a feeling if I use this, um, this ruler, I'm not going to end up with the biggest... Uh, space there in the middle, but I can drift up here a bit. I don't know. I'll do the first cut with the ruler and then I think I'm just going to get rid of it because it just, it makes it too hard to navigate while also trying to keep my pages straight. All right, so, and again, blade safety, make sure you don't cut yourself. The first cut you do, um, you want to try to cut through as many pages as you can. See, I've got a bit of a tear there. That's all right. That just means this blade's not that sharp. I might have to change the blade. Just start carving. It doesn't matter if it tears either because you're not keeping that page. Um, it does look a little not great there, but that's okay. I'm just not even going to use that ruler anymore. I'm just going to make my next cut here at the top. And I'm trying to keep the rest of the pages as straight as I can with the other hand. Cut through as many as you can. You might need to stand up to get more purchase on it. Um, I'm going to cut here at the bottom. You might have to flip it around because you don't, again, want to cut yourself. Hold the pages down. Just carve. And the other thing, our last step is going to fix some of these tears that I've got up here. Um, yeah, 
this book is, see this is another thing. The downside of picking a book with some damage is that it's gonna drift on you. So it's, the spine's not in great shape. Don't cut towards your hand. Okay, and then when you get through your first layer, you might have some extra corners there. Just pop it open. I didn't get through that many there, but I think I'm gonna stand up here in a second. And you just pop out the pages and recycle them. All right. Do your best getting the pages out. If you need scissors to help you cut some of the edges, you can do that. I wasn't too worried about it being perfect, so I just tore them. One thing you can do with these spare pieces of paper if you want, you could make some paper beads. That could be fun. See, you can still see where you, you can still see a line where you cut. So you can either just, you know, tear that part out because it's pretty well, it's got a good line there where I can just tear it. And you get all the way down here and you can see it's not, and see there's some nice fun stains. That's another reason this book's a good op option for cutting. Now you're just gonna wanna go ahead and pin these pages out of the way so that it makes it easier for you to cut the rest of the pages, which you'll just go ahead and cut along the lines left by your previous cut. We've sped this next section up just because it gets a little bit monotonous and it's basically the same as what we already did just further into the book. Just keep on cutting along the lines left by the previous cut. It can make it easier to do a straight line. You can also keep using your ruler if you'd like. Now if you get a tear like this, don't worry about it. That section's going to be glued together so you're not even going to see it. Remember to keep your fingers out of the way and cut away from yourself. Just keep turning the book. It can help get a better line on your cut. Another thing that can help is standing up. That's what I'm doing right now. It helps me get more pressure on the blade. Then just tear out the middle sections or again use scissors to clip the corners if you'd like a nice clean line but I don't mind a little bit of a ragged edge like I've got going here. And then go ahead and pin that next section with the others. This time I went ahead and pinned at the top because the pages felt like they might tear if I pinned in the middle there. And then you're just going to keep on going. You're just going to keep on doing that until you get deep enough into the book that you're ready to stop. One thing to keep in mind as you keep cutting, do your best to keep the pages that you're cutting through aligned. Uh, it can be difficult, and it's not 100% necessary. Don't be too mad at yourself if you can't do it. One thing that can help you do that is if you prop up the other side of your book with a stack of books. You can also, as you have to turn your book, maybe prop it up against yourself. And just one more reminder to be safe and to keep your fingers out of the way and make sure you don't cut yourself. And just keep on carving, and then once you get to a place you're ready to stop, just stop, and then you'll pick up with us in a bit. Three days later. Alright. Just kind of shake it out. Get some nice scraps there. Alright. And then you can see you've got a nice space in there and it looks it doesn't look that bad I mean even cutting without a ruler it's pretty straight I kind of like the kind of jagged edges in there so I'm gonna clip it right here okay and now we just start gluing and we're just gonna start and you don't have to worry about this because we're going to weight it down. You're just going to start getting that glue in there. And really, with it plopping up like that, that's good because you kind of want the glue to get in between the pages. And don't worry about glue getting on this page. We're going to, 
we've got a, a, a tactic for keeping that from gluing to itself. Um, just get in those crevices, just really glomp the glue in there, get all messy. Oh, that's satisfying, getting those corners. Yeah, let the pages fall apart a bit, open a bit, and just get right in there. Have a turn. All in there, give it a whole, real nice, you can't get too gluey. And this part right here, that's where if you feel like it, do some glitter. If you feel like it, paste in a magazine or something cute, picture or something. And this part, you want to do it a little quick, like you don't want to have too many pauses because it does glue or dry fairly quickly. But you do have some time, so don't don't stress about this part. Just get your glue all in there. And you can go over that bottom too to make it nice and good. Get in there. Just keep going. Now this is where I'm thinking sponge brush probably would be better because with this brush I do have to worry a little bit about you know Brussels coming off. Um, not a whole lot, but a little bit. All right. Okay. Yeah, you might want to kind of give it a bit of a squeeze like that because you can see where the glues come out. So you want to smooth that out some because you don't want those blops drying in there. Okay, and now we're going to turn it up on its side and we'll glue the edges here. So you're just gonna, just like the inside, just plop the glue right there on top. Try to get down the crevices if you can. Do your best. This is the part that's gonna hold the safe together and make it one solid unit. So just get down in there as best you can. Go around the whole thing, keep gluing, just get it all in there. One of the nice things about working with these older books is that that older paper, for some reason, for just really soaks up the glue really well. So it makes for a really nice, solid book safe. really falls open nicely there and lets you get in all the crevices. Get as nice a coverage as you can. And one last thing you can do is really go in and glue down this back page because this is the page you want to make sure this is nice and secure and I've also seen people really glue down this first page because you can kind of see it Again, some of this is gonna all get salved over as it gets smushed. So it's up to you whether you extra glue down this page or not. Okay. Okay. Then you're gonna take your wax paper 
and just put it right in the middle of the book. Just right down the crevice there. Just kind of slide it in. Don't worry about it gluing to the other page. Uh, it might stick a little bit, but it'll come loose really easily. Give it a good squish. Try to get out any excess glue. And then you're just gonna wipe that off as best you can with the brush. Get all around. And then once you're done with that, you're just gonna sandwich it under some heavy books or a weight or any other heavy thing that you have lying around. And then leave it for 24 hours and then it'll be nice and safe. So we've had this under some heavy books for about 24 hours now. So it should be nice and glued together. So we're gonna take it apart and see how it looks. And then we'll talk about some other fun things that you can do with your, your new safe to make it cute or whatever. All right, so let's see now. All right. Looks pretty good. And you might have some resistance when you peel up the wax paper. Don't worry about that, it'll be fine. And it's coming up real easy for me. Real easy, nice and easy. All right, there you go. I was a little worried that this part here was gonna be a little bit warped, but it's not, it looks just fine. It flattened back out, it's nice and hardened. Um, the edges here look all right. Um, it looks really good, it's nice depth. You could fit a phone in there pretty easily. There you go. Nice little safe. Um, so some other fun things you can do with it if you want to decorate it. You can always just pull a page out of a magazine or something. Like I found this pretty page and you can put some glue down, stick it in there, and then just carve around the space. And then you just have a kind of cute landing page on your book safe. Another fun thing you can do if you want, put down a bit more of your glue and then just sprinkle some glitter, whatever kind of glitter you like um, in there and that'll look really cute. And then just leave it open while it dries. That's that, that's how you make a book safe. I hope you had a lot of fun, I know I did. Join us in two weeks when we'll be making paper succulents and don't forget to sign up for our summer reading program. You can find details about that in our description below and on our website. I'll see you in two weeks. Bye.